Good morning, my friends, and greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. This is another day the Lord has given all of us. And uh, He wants us to rejoice and be glad on this day. Because it is His gift for each one of us. So don't waste it. And today let us spend few minutes again in meditating from God's Word that we may live by the truth of God's Word. Today's meditation is taken from the book of Jeremiah the prophet, chapter 45, verse 5. And uh, the title will be, What do you want? Jeremiah 45, verse 5. This chapter is a very small chapter with five verses. And so the last verse, verse 5 says, Should you then seek great things for yourself? Seek them not, for I will bring disaster on all people, declares the Lord. But wherever you go, I will let you escape with your life. Today's meditation is based on this verse. Jeremiah 45 is one of the smallest chapters in the Bible. It has only five verses and the, the verse that we have read is the last verse. And this verse gives a very important message for those who are discouraged, disappointed and uh, uh, the message was meant uh, for uh, the for the private secretary of uh, Jeremiah the prophet. His name was Baruch. Uh, the prophet will dictate the message from God and Baruch usually write it down on scroll. Uh, the message of this chapter was intended to strengthen the faith of Baruch who had become so discouraged there were two reasons for the discouragement of Baruch. Number one, the apparent failure of Jeremiah's ministry. Remember, he was always with Jeremiah, working as a secretary for him, writing down all the messages that Jeremiah received from God. And the second reason of um, his discouragement and disappointment was the impending judgment on Judah. God has already declared the judgment on Judah will be coming soon. And when Baruch, along with Jeremiah, thought about it, he was so discouraged and disappointed. And probably he wanted to find a way to escape and be secure. And like Jeremiah, Baruch also was broken in spirit and burden of his heart he began to groan because of that burden. And he said, I am worn out with groaning and find no rest. And that was Jeremiah's cry and Baruch shared that same thought and groaning. Such circumstances caused Baruch to turn to the world and uh, momentarily set his heart to seek worldly uh, solution of uh, comfort and uh, prosperity uh, from the world outside of God's provision. See, it can happen to any one of us. Momentarily, you know, I think that is what happened to John the Baptist. John the Baptist was the one who introduced Jesus Christ as the Lamb of God to the world. And he had no doubt. And he stood firm on the conviction that Jesus Christ was truly the Messiah. But then, suddenly, he was arrested and he was put in jail. And in that circumstance, a moment of weakness of faith, John the Baptist sent two of his disciples to Jesus with this question. Teacher, are you the one who was to come as Messiah or should we wait for someone else? Remember who is asking this question? 
the same one who introduced Jesus as the Lamb of God, behold the Lamb of God who shall take away the sins of the world. It can happen to any one of us, my friends. In that time of weaknesses, please remember John the Baptist and remember Baruch. Remember such saints of God. It can happen to us at that time instead of succumbing to that burden and going down. Also remember the answer that God gave to John the Baptist as well as to Baruch. Baruch also was an unfortunately, unfortunately for him, God saved him on time from uh, perishing under the judgment of God. God promised he would survive the judgment and the destruction of Jerusalem because of his faithfulness to Jeremiah and to God's message. Baruch believed whatever Jeremiah dictated to him a message from God and messages from God and he followed and he feared God and so because of his faithfulness God is now promising him Baruch wherever you go I'll be with you and I will reward you before the promise God set a challenge before Baruch do you seek great things for yourself that was the question. The implication of this question is, are you seeking great things for yourself instead of seeking to be a great person? That is a great challenge. That is a good one, my friends. We may seek great things, but God wants to make you a great person. Now you have to choose what do you want in life, things or you want to be a great person. After you are gone and disappeared, your descendants, your children, your grandchildren, how do you want them to remember you? A possessor of things or a great soul, a great man. God's desire for Baruch was that Baruch would be a great man. What do you want for your life? Are you great, seeking great things for yourself? Why don't you seek to be a great person? That is God's challenge. The message is this. God wants to be in a much closer relationship with Him. And um, Than simply receiving his gift, than, rather than simply receiving God's gift. Here is the challenge. Do you want to be in a closer, intimate relationship with Jesus Christ? Or you want to seek from him only for what he is able to give you? Things. My friends, it must be only for the sake of Jesus you must seek, not for what he can give you. The gifts may come and go and perish, but your relationship with this God will keep you and make you a great person so that when you are gone, your children will stand up and praise you. Because over you, your example. There is a very important message for all of us here. God wants us to get to know Him, not not merely go know about Him, but know God. And that intimate knowledge will come only by being with Him. Otherwise, you hear about him from others. And you may know many things about this God. But that is, what God, that is not what God wants. God wants you to know him. Knowing a person and knowing about a person are two different things. You will never know perfectly a person unless you stay with him. 
even some large thing we want is only incidental it comes and it goes my friends but god never gives us anything incidental there is nothing higher than getting into the right relationship with god unless it is not god if you are seeking but only what he can give you paul's decision you read in his letter to philippians chapter 3 verses 7 to 11 you read this passage at home but i will tell you what he says see before paul met jesus and transformed and changed he had big large things and small things and whatever he decided he could have he was from a millionaire family a business family he had money he had the best heritage the background he was an hebrew of the hebrews genuine pure blood and among the hebrews there was this sect called pharisees the strictest people who followed the law to its letter so he could claim that. and then he was one of the highly educated person qualified he trained himself under the and under Gamaliel one of the greatest teachers of all time among the Jews and to be trained under him means it was a prestige and he was also a member of the ruling cabinet of the Jews so he had money he had prestige he had name he had fame and he had position and possession and everything but then in this passage he says whatever was a gain to me i consider as nothing i consider them as rubbish waste i put them on the waste the basket for what he said that i may know christ Listen to what he says. He did not say I may know about Christ. No, I may know Christ. I want to be in such close fellowship with this Jesus that I even want to have a fellowship in his suffering. I am ready and willing to suffer to feel the pain that he went through. And as you know, there was never a man, person who suffered physically as Paul the apostle and he did it wholeheartedly knowingly he gave up everything as else he said that i may know christ so the knowledge of christ was more precious to him than earthly riches or gain and so here is the message worldly goods worldly things one may seek and you may even gain the whole world but remember jesus said if you lose your soul what shall it profit you so be wise don't go after the things of this world but go after knowing christ by being with him and even entering into fellowship with his suffering gladly remember the eternal rewards and life for this is the call of god for you live it and enjoy it amen lord i thank you for this message that you help each one of us oh lord that we may make the right choice we may not set our eyes on the things of this world but oh god you want us to be great people in your sight may we go after 
seeking your kingdom your righteousness by which i may gain greater eternal riches and reign with christ in jesus name amen god bless you amen